While cameras have captured BP's work underwater, it's sometimes hard to tell exactly what's going on. Industrial animator Bo Brown has showed us how the relief well would work in the past, and now he's back to give us a look at just how BP put a cap on this ruptured well. He joins us now from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Bo, good to see you again. Uh, walk us through your first animation. What are we looking at? Okay, well, I'm basically showing the removing of the top hat, which was the initial where they were trying to contain the oil. So I'm telling the story with this animation. They removed the damaged part of the, the broken blowout preventer, added a, some type of adapter, and they're basically installing a working BOP. You know, they're calling it a capping stack, but it's got the same type of rams that are on the broken one. Um, and I kind of show a little section view here, showing them sealing it off, uh, and then now they're doing their pressure testing. Uh, what you guys were talking about just a minute ago, monitoring it. And as, and Bo, as you're listening to the update from our reporter, does it seem like everything is is working as it should be? Well, the the low pressure is not the best sign. You know, they were talking about the seepage, and then they're saying it's from a a natural occurring. Which um, I know that they're pressuring up, and they're looking for structural integrity. Uh, of the casing wall and the shallow parts. And you, if you look at that next animation, the reason why they're pressure testing is to look for leaks in that structure, that casing, because that could be more catastrophic um, in the long run. Uh, I don't know if you're playing it or not, but... Uh, and, Bo, as, as, as we're chatting with you, we're looking at the second animation here. Right. Tell us what we're looking at here. Okay, the first part I was showing you, okay, that is a perfectly good scenario. The, the casing's intact, and it's pressured up. The second one I'm showing you cracked or damaged casing. And if this is in the upper shallow parts of the well, which is, uh, you know, that's what their big fear is. If it's down below, it's not that big a deal uh, because it's not going to reach the surface uh, like you're seeing here. And multiple wells or holes in the, the seafloor is probably their biggest fear but no matter what they're still now with have the cracked to... with the cracked or damaged casing that you just showed us would that indicate that there's high pressure which is a good thing or is is it a bad thing that we're seeing those cracks and damaged casing in your animation no that's the bad thing if there's cracks if there's cracks then you're going to get low pressure they're going to start seeing low pressure which they are seeing low pressures but like the newscast just a minute ago they were talking about that could be that the, the well's depleted, uh, the reservoir's been depleted, so the pressures are different. But they don't want low pressures. They want high pressures, and they want it stable because that means it's, you know, it's like a balloon. There's no leaks. But if it starts changing or there's anomalies, that's a big word for me, uh, you know, then they know that there could be some structural integrity problems. Now, Bo, you're an industrial animator, so you do this kind of work for oil and energy companies all the time. In your experience, does it surprise you that BP took this long to get this new containment cap working and on the well three months after the leak? No. Well, I mean, this isn't like a movie, you know, uh, where, you know, it's like two hours and it's over. I mean, there's a lot of science and engineering involved, and they're taking every precaution I'm sure there's a big room of, you know, mathletes and scientists and the Bruce Willis's of BP sitting in some room doing all the calculations and looking at each other's work, uh, you know, making sure that they don't cause this well to get any worse. So, they, you know, it, it's right, going to take point. some time to talk a mile, a mile down in the ocean. Right, and that, that war room, that so-called war room, is, right. is called the Hive up in their headquarters in Houston. Bo Brown, an industrial animator, thanks so much for breaking it down. You helped us uh, understand this a little bit better. Thanks so much. Thank you.